So hello again, my name is Pranit and welcome to our Trading View Pine Script series. In this video, we are going to build and backtest a trading strategy with RSI and a drilling stop loss. So you can see over here, the net profit is 107%, total close trades are 302, percent profitable is 44%, profit factor is 1.7 and the max total is only 7%. So this is a trading strategy that I have built and I'm going to share it right now. So in this video, we are going to build a trading strategy with RSI and trailing stop loss. So the first thing that we always do is create the user input. So user inputs RSI length, then we have input dot int default value as 14. Then we have the overbought and the oversold level, which is input dot int default value as 40 and over here the default value will be 60 right because these are the bullish and bearish zones right 60 okay and then uh, we have created the user inputs let's just create the trading indicators so over here it will be rsi is equals to ta.rsi close and the rsi then which i have called over here right and then we have the buy short signals so buy is equals to buy is equals to ta dot cross over of RSI and the overbought level which is 60 and for short it will be ta dot cross under ta dot cross under of RSI and the oversold level Okay, so we have done with the buy and the short signals and now let us do the trailing stop loss calculation. So I have already have a template of the trailing stop loss. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. And then uh, over here you can see we have 0 0.02, right? So I'm just going to divide this by 100 and this as well. Okay, so we are done. Now uh, we have coded the buy and the short signals and now let's just build the strategy part. So strategy, so if buy strategy dot entry id is long, direction as strategy dot long, comment as long, okay. So whenever the RSI crosses above the 60 level, we are going to get, we are going to enter into a long position and as soon as we enter into a long position, our trailing stop loss is going to get activated, right? So as soon as the prices touches the trailing stop loss, we are going to exit our position. So in this, we don't have a fixed stop loss and fixed target. We have a trailing stop loss. All right. So over here, it will be if strategy dot position size is greater than zero. So strategy dot position size greater than zero means we are into a long position, less than zero means we are into a short position and is equals to is equals to zero. That means we are neutral. We are into no position. Strategy dot exit and then ID is long. Then stop is equals to. So what is our stop? It is long stop price and then comment as TSL for pi. Okay. And then if short strategy dot entry id as short then comment as short and direction as strategy dot short and now we have to exit our short position at some point right so whenever the prices hits the trailing stop loss for short we are going to exit our short position and how are we going to enter into a short position when the RSI crosses below the 40 level? If strategy dot position size is less than zero, I want to exit my short position when the prices hits the trailing stop loss. So if strategy dot position size is less than zero, I want to exit my short position when the prices hits the trailing stop loss short stop price and comment as ESL buy okay all right here we go so we are done with everything 
so let me save it first and let's see okay so we don't have any errors and now if I add this to chart you can see right it is coming as an underlay indicator but now putting you as a feature in which we can plot overlay and underlay indicator in one script so we can plot the RSI and we can plot the trailing stop loss so plot RSI color is equals to color dot black and line width as 2 alright so now uh, the next thing is h line 0 so over here I'm going to keep as 50, 60, 40, 80 and 20 okay and now I'm going to plot the trailing stop loss so plot so if my strategy position size is greater than 0 I want to plot long trailing stop loss otherwise I don't want to plot anything color will be color dot green uh, line width as 2 and style as plot dot style line view okay and then here it will be short stop price color red and this will be less than zero and now if I save it you will see it will show like this this is the RSI and this is the trading shop loss because we are plotting two indicators in one pane right over here I have to use force overlay as true and over here as well force overlay as true and now let me save it okay let me delete this and add it to the chart again and over here can you see over here our RSI is you know uh, coming as an underlay and our trailing stop loss is coming as an overlay so let me just give this as one so you can see the trailing stop loss can you see this is our trailing stop loss uh, for short as well as for long and this is our RSI indicator okay it's very easy right so now as we have built the trading strategy let us verify the signals so can you see over here at this point the RSI went below the 40 level so once this standard is closed we are going to enter into market order so we have a short and as soon as the prices touches our trailing stop loss we are going to exit our short position so short signals are working well and over here you can see we have, an, we have an amazing move over here you can see at this point the RSI has crossed and closed above the 60 level so once this candle is closed once this candle is closed we are going to enter into a market order so we have a long and we exit our long position when the prices touches the trailing stop loss you can see right as soon as the prices touches the trailing stop loss we are going to exit our long position all right so the signals are working well now let us go to the strategy tester and see the backtest results let me keep over here as 2x and commission as 0.02 percent and also let me mark the drawdown so can you see this is the equity curve all right we are on a 30 minute time frame so the historical backtest data will be around five years you can see it from 2020 so it will be it will be around four years and now just try to optimize the trading strategy so if i keep 65 over here and 35 over here let us see what happens okay it is not working so let us keep it at 60 and 40 and now let me keep this as 0.5 i want to keep the trading stop loss a little closer to the prices and as you can see our equity curve has drastically improved and our max order is also only 11 percent so if i keep this as one you can see the max order is 25 percent but as soon as i reduce this to 0.5 you can see this is the equity curve right net profit is 95 percent total close trades are 596 percent profitable is 39 percent profit factor is 1.2 and max order is all near to 12 percent and now uh let me go to performance summary you can see uh, long signals are giving 109 percent profit and short signals are in negative it is not even generating one percent profit right we always create long and short filter so input dot bull input dot bull default value as false 
and over here short only default value as false so if long only I want to execute this statements and if short only I want to execute this statement so I'm just going to keep the long only as true and short only as true okay so now let's just see let me keep the initial capital to 2 lakhs and commission as 0.2% 95% right but the shorts are not generating any profits that is the reason we have created these filters so I am just going to deselect the short only and now you can see max short only is only 7% very controlled total close trades are also fine percent profitable has increased to 44% net profit is also 107% right so we are testing this on a nifty future chart on a 30 minute time frame so you know we can go to higher time frame or lower time frames and check how is the strategy performing in different time frames so this particular script will be working across any asset and any time frame so you can apply this strategy on crypto forex or any of the chart and see the backtest results okay so can you see this is the equity curve so let me go to a 15 minute time frame and you can see right it is 71 percent just make sure that whenever whenever you are going to higher time frame right you have to change the settings of the indicator right because 0.5 trailing stop loss on a one hour time frame is too less right so you can keep this as one and then see how the strategy is performing all right so i'm just going to keep it as 1.5 and 0.5 and then i'm going to 30 minute time frame. okay so on 30 minute you know this this is the equity curve so this is a good equity curve with the controlled drawdown okay so if you also want to build this kind of trading strategies just make sure to check our PineScript course the link is in the description we have 20 plus hours of content and almost 90 lectures so make sure to check this course out it will help you to build your own profitable trading strategies and also remember that I have coded many trading strategies, day trading strategies, pullback trading strategies as well as swing trading strategies. The link of all those videos will be in the description so make sure to check those videos out. And if you like this video, please subscribe and let us know in the comment section below what you think about this trading strategy. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again in the next series.